welcome back to Family Bible Time. This week, our quiz is on the Great Commission, which is the story we did last week. Question number one is, how many disciples was Jesus talking to? The answer is 11. Jesus was talking to 11 disciples. Question number two, sorry, two, was, is, sorry, uh, who has all the power in heaven and on earth? Jesus. Jesus states he has all the power in heaven and on earth. Question number three. What were the three commands Jesus gave to the disciples? He told them to go and make disciples, baptize them and teach them. So make disciples, baptize them and teach them. Question number four is, who were they to baptize them in the name of? Jesus told them to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Question number five, the final question is, what did Jesus promise the disciples the end. He promised them that he would be with them forever until the end of the world. That's our quiz for this week. So it's now time for the story. The story this week is from Acts 1, 1 to 11. It's the story of Jesus ascending to heaven. And I'm going to give you a quick summary in my own words of the story this week. So the disciples come and meet Jesus at the Mount of Olives. And they, Jesus is seeing them for the last time. He has told them to go and make disciples, baptizing them and teaching them. He's now giving them his last words. And they are, the Father has made a promise which I have told you about before. Wait here until you receive the promise. John baptized with water. You will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And Jesus goes on to tell them that the Father is the only one with the authority to determine when that will happen. And they won't know this when, when they won't know when it will happen but it is promised to them that they will be baptized by the Holy Spirit. So Jesus asks them to wait for this to happen and then go and be his witness to all people in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and all the world. After Jesus said this, he was taken up to heaven. Two men appeared to the disciples. They said, men of Galilee, why are you standing here? Looking into the sky. You saw Jesus taken away from you into heaven. He will come back to you. The disciples then went back to Jerusalem and waited for the Holy Spirit. So here we have Jesus' 
final words to the disciples. They aren't too similar. They're not that different from the Great Commission. Because here, Jesus is telling them that they will be his witness, or they are to go and tell people about him and make disciples in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and all the world. But before that happens, they are to wait for the Holy Spirit. And only the Father knows when the Holy Spirit will come. So the understanding we can take from this is that God promises us that the Holy Spirit will be there for us. And he, the Holy Spirit will come and meet with us. And we'll explore what that looks like in the coming weeks as we do Pentecost next week. But the ultimate challenge for the disciples is to go and be Jesus's witness and tell people about him in not only their own area, but to Judea, Samaria, and all the world. So the challenge for us then is to think about what is our Jerusalem? Because Jerusalem for the disciples is their home area. The people they know, the people that they live, the culture that they are part of. The next place, next two places, Judea and Samaria, are the surrounding areas of Jerusalem. And so for us, the challenge here is what are our surrounding areas? So first we have the place we know, the place we live, the where we go to do things. Then we have our surrounding areas. It might be a neighboring city. It might be a neighboring country. The next thing to think about is what is the end of the world for us? Or what's the rest of the world for us? Well, simply put, it's the rest of the world. So the challenge we can take away and the thing that we can think about is what are we doing to be Jesus's witness in our own area, in our neighboring areas, and in the rest of the world? So our discussion now is, as usual, we've got four questions and the first three are the same, as usual. I wonder what your favourite part of the story was. Next, I wonder what your least favourite part of the story was. Next, I wonder what we could take out of the story and still have the whole story. And finally, I wonder what your Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and end of the world are for you. So this week, we have a prayer activity that involves a breathing meditation. So I want you to find somewhere that you can sit down, you can close your eyes and plant your feet firmly on the ground. You can breathe in and count to four and breathe out and count to four, just like this. And you continually do that breathing in and breathing out for a count of four. With your eyes closed and you ask God to come into the room. You ask the Holy Spirit to come into the room. And you remind yourself by stating, God loves me. God loves me. Remind yourself of that truth. And then you sit and wait in the silence while still breathing in and out, in and out, counting to four. And you wait and see what God has to say to you. 
Then when you're finished, you say thank you to God and you bring yourself back into the room as to where you are. You open your eyes and you just say a prayer for someone in your family. And that will be our prayer activity for this week. Thank you so much for joining me this week for Family Bible Time. I really hope that you enjoyed today. And I hope that you do think about the challenge of where is your Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and ends of the earth. And that's the challenge this week. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.